Hey everybody, welcome back. So it's the middle of September, fall is in the air, and you know what, I got another stove video for you. If you haven't already figured it out, what I'm holding in my hand is a one gallon metal paint can. Now I know you're thinking, where do you get metal paint cans? I can tell you, you can still buy them. Home Depot, paint section, they'd be happy to sell you one for less than five bucks. You know, normally with these videos, I do a build video at home and then we come out here and we test it. But this stove was so easy. I'm just going to tell you how I built it and then we're going to go right to the test video. So one gallon metal paint can. Basically cut a hole for the, for the door. A little bit of scrap material that I had left over from a previous build. But you can get that uh, in the furnace duct section of your Home Depot. Some carriage bolts for legs. I got a, a wing nut at the top holding the bolt in, kind of a retainer nut at the bottom, and then another wing nut with a little bit of strapping. I don't know if you can see that. There we go, some strapping front and back for some sturdy legs on that thing. Other than that, a little bit of cutting with a pair of tin snips. Cut the hole in the top for a three inch pipe. You can get the, the pipe also in your furnace section at Home Depot. This entire stove is less than $10. Super lightweight, completely airtight, other than for a little bit of a gap around the door, but I'm hoping that uh, you know we can get that to seal up a little bit. In any case, we want a little bit of a draft going up this thing uh, to keep that smoke going up the chimney and have it stay out of our tent or tarp shelter. So let's go ahead, reposition the camera. That's how I built it. it took me about 20 minutes. Let's see how it burns. seems to be sparking up without any trouble which is great the only thing with this stove is it's pretty short that piece is already too long we'll have to let it burn down before we get the door closed Go ahead, put a little bit more wood in there. Good draft with no problem. So just give that a, another few seconds here and then I'll try and close the door and, and see if we can damp that down a little bit and make that wood last just a little bit longer. Might need a bit of a catch on that door. We'll see how that works out. Might be able to incorporate something. But uh, just based on past history, as long as there's a, a little bit of a gap there, we get a little bit of airflow into the stove and it seems to keep smoldering with a good amount of retained heat for a, a, a good length of time. So got a little bit of heat radiating off there, which is great. Let's just open that back up again. You can see it all but put the flame out. 
So I, I think with a few bigger size pieces in there, we could get that uh, damped right down and keep it going for a, a good amount of time. Oxygen gets that going again. So there we go, another DIY hot tent micro stove. Once again, thanks for watching, and until next time, take it easy.